Well, welcome to the cooking corner in the Air Comfort Solutions Kitchen. We're happy to welcome back Alfredo Vargas from the Hard Rock, who's here doing a summer fruit salad. Everything yes. smells delicious. It's getting me in the summer spirit. Tell sure. us how we can make this for people at home. Very simple, <clears throat> especially for all those folks that have a pool at home. They, you got the kiddos up there swimming, and you don't want to turn out the stuff. This is an easy way to fit it. I know, and it's healthier, right? Very healthy and, uh, oh my God, very easy to make. Of course, you're chopping your fruit, your lettuce first. So we got romaine. We got a romaine here. You follow the recipe, it's very simple, just to put it together. I like the romaine, you got that crispiness in it. Uh, and then you go to go ahead and add, you follow the cup or the right amounts they have for you in there, please do. Uh, if you got a little extra, it's fine. Just, just more fruit is not going to hurt anything. So you got honeydew, cantaloupe, pineapple. You got your watermelon. Everything looks so Everything. great. Everything. Just mix it right there, throw it in there. Papaya, those that have not been experienced, papaya is a Car Caribbean um, fruit that's very tropical, very refreshing. It's not for everybody. You got a different texture. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people's like, yeah, I don't like it. So this recipe will make two to three salads. So we're going to throw everything in there. Make sure you throw your mint in there too, because the mint is going to give you that nice, um, different flavor in it. So we go to touch a little bit of honey. If you get the local honey here from, 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 from Oklahoma, uh, it helps a lot mm -hmm. with all these allergies that we're dealing with lately. So we go to touch it, put a little bit of honey in there that we can touch it. We go to put more where we plate it, of course. And when you touch it like this, just garnish. I mean, when you do your pineapple, take one of the, the, the top parts of the tip, just for garnishes, if you want to be fancy. If you don't, don't worry about it. If it's for your kids, put in a ball and stuff like that. You got friends to come over. And this is great for people of all ages. All ages. Kids love fruit. I mean, I don't remember. And adults too, don't and forget about adults. All, all adults, I mean, this is my favorite breakfast. You can even put some yogurt in it, which I have some yogurt in here. So you can do that. So you can make two, three, you can make it small for the kids, a little bit larger for the adults and stuff like that. I, we got probably enough to make two and what or three about the those. yogurt? Well, that's an option. Oh, that's um, an option. It's an option. Not Let's say everybody. you do this for breakfast and you like yogurt, please do. Now, the other thing that is very phenomenal, uh, you got your grapes, you put in top. You want something crunchy in it. So right. we got the granola. So it's very great for you for your breakfast as well. And you want to drizzle with your honey. Very rich. No, it looks great. Very, very And how long does this, does this typically take to make for people that want to know at home? Well, we do this every day, so uh, we very experience with the knives, but just be careful. Peel the fruit first, cut it, take the seeds out, dice it as size you want. So maybe 15 to 20 minutes prep, and then just put it together in a few, a few minutes. Perfect. Thank you so much, Alfredo, for joining us as always. Now, you can check out many more recipes just like this one. Just go to our website at newson6.com slash recipes.